In learning how to add and multiply numbers, we often don't stop to think about properties of these operations. This is similar to the idea of grammar in language. We just learn to use it and everything is fine. But when faced with an unfamiliar situation or when trying to learn a new language, having a firm understanding of grammar can become much more important. The properties of commutativity and associativity with respect to addition and multiplication might seem somewhat trivial, but they're actually what enables us to work algebraically. Commutativity means that the order either side of the operation doesn't matter. Three groups of five is the same as five groups of three, or five times three dollars is the same as three times five dollars, even though they might refer to different situations. Associativity is a kind of bracket anywhere property and allows us to extend operations like multiplication and addition, which are defined between two numbers to multiple arguments. That's why we can have the sum of five numbers, or the product of five numbers, but we can't have, say, a subtraction of four numbers or a division of three numbers, because subtraction and division aren't associative. So with associativity, if we want to add 8, 5 and 9, we can either do the 8 plus 5 and then add 9, or we can do the 5 plus 9 and then add the 8 from the front. Then of course we can combine these properties together, and this is what enables us to do cancelling out when we work algebraically. For example, if I have 5x plus 3, I can subtract 3, or maybe it's better to think of this as adding negative 3. Now grouping these together, we get a result of 0, so we can let it disappear. And even if I had 3 plus 5x the other way around, I could add negative 3 still, and because of associativity, I can assume there's brackets here, then I can swap the order because of commutativity, and then I can use associativity again to change around the brackets and reevaluate. We also need to remember how distributivity works. So again, starting from 5x plus 3, I can divide by 5. Now this is the same as multiplying by a fifth, but I need to remember that the multiplication applies to both terms inside the brackets. But then if division and subtraction aren't commutative or associative, why does it work when we use multiplication by a fifth? It's similar to the idea of adding negative 3 instead of subtracting 3. But an important thing to remember is that this 1 is neutral in multiplication, but not so in division. So 3 divided by 5 is the same as 3 times a fifth and a fifth times 3. But if we expand out a fifth times 3, it becomes 1 divided by 5 times 3, not just 5 divided by 3.